uh, a friend and they said, where are you shooting on Friday? I said, up from Walden. <laughs> and they said, are you worried? You know, are you worried they're going to heckle? I said, they don't heckle in up from Walden, they're too posh, but I just throw cuss cuss. That's it. That's all <laughs> so last weekend, I was doing a comedy club called Jonglers in Leeds. Now, has anyone here been to Leeds before? It's good, isn't it? It's a great city. Get yourself to Leeds. It's a brilliant city. They've had loads of European funding. There's city centres looking great. They've even got a logo now, Leeds. If you go around the city centre of Leeds, the council have branded the city. Go around the city centre. There's huge signs everywhere. It goes, like, it goes, Leeds, live it, love it. It's good, isn't it? Leeds, live it, love it. Bradford, leave it. <laughs> Forget it. I love it. But there are some Americans, just some, who don't get the English sense of ironic humour. <laughs> like customs officers, they don't get it. <laughs> I landed, but this is the customs officer, he's like this, he's like, Sir, have you done any illegal drugs? I was like, what do you need? <laughs> Glasgow Central Station Hotel. 42 years ago, my mum and dad met. Uh, my dad was a waiter, Spanish waiter, my mum was a Scottish receptionist, and I promptly chatted up. Beautiful story, it just goes up like this. So like, imagine if you were a Spanish waiter with his shirts open. He <laughs> 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 goes, he goes, he goes, eh? Yeah. Eh, beautiful uh, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> His job, he's got a proper job, he's in uh, uh, housing and all that, he gets houses, does them all, rents them out. Most of the other day, like, he goes, he goes, eh, you know, I have living in one of my house, some aliens. <laughs> what do you think about dying? <laughs> that is pronounced Somalians. <laughs> With David. Who's David? Is he what is what's what's the story behind you, David? What do you do, David? What do you do? You with that kind of you're probably a minister, totally disinterested. That's uh... <laughs> he's, he's a minister, is he? I can tell. I can tell he's a minister. I can tell. I've done shows for churches before, and it's always the minister just sat in the front going, not this rubbish. Oh really? Right. But we all do the same to him on a Sunday morning, don't we? Really? <laughs> We, we're not family at all, we're not actually related, but tell me that. My wife's your second cousin? I never knew you lived in Cornwall. That's her. We're genuinely related. Oh, fantastic. I mean, I mean you choose your moments, don't you? said, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to support fair trade. A woman in the front booed me. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? She's like, all oh, those baby seals. I'm like, that's the fur trade, madam. <laughs> I don't know what I'm oh, they, love, they love comedy out in America. And they, I mean, but we have, a, we have a language barrier in America. We think we speak the same language. We genuinely don't, right? This is absolutely out right? So I did a, a, a Christian festival out there called the Wild Goose Festival, right? And a guy, he was a Southern Baptist minister, came on to me after the show, and usually people say, oh, hello, well done, and all that kind of stuff. Charity, he came on to me, this is what he actually said, genuinely. His first thing he goes, hey, buddy! So yeah, he goes, are you pro-gay? Huh? <laughs> are you pro-gay? I was like, I'm not even amateur gay. <laughs> Tarzan, apparently, 
Tarzan. Here we go. Three, two, one, Tarzan, go! Oh, oh. it is a So you come in, right, and then you scoop the king up in your arms, right? You just, uh, just, uh, just.